as a bus driver for their kids because of a shortage that we're seeing across North Texas. Chris Sadegi looks at what some school leaders are doing to try to get through this latest COVID surge. Less than one week after most districts return to school after the winter break, a combination of staffing shortages and also a surge in COVID cases, making it hard to provide an education. And in some districts, it's making it hard to even get kids to the campus. Here in Plano and also in Garland, the districts began the day warning parents that their child's bus route could be delayed. This was on both Monday and again this morning. Garland's delays were due to a high number of absences caused by COVID and other illnesses. They were tweeting updates yesterday about delays, and some of them reached up to 90 minutes late. Afternoon routes were also altered as the district used any employee with a license to drive a bus to step in and fill that gap. Over in Plano, the district told us that their delays are because of a critical bus driver shortage they've dealt with for some time. But yesterday, the delays were district wide. Again, this morning, Plano is posting updates on delays for their routes. And also, Garland has notified parents there could be alterations to their bus routes. Over the weekend, the American Bus Association held a convention in Grapevine and told us their industry was hit as hard as any. Our industry, I think, got hit more than any other part of the transportation or travel industry. We got very little help from the federal government. We got some, but not nearly as much as was needed. And during that period of time when we were virtually shut down, a lot of drivers and a lot of employees left the industry. And now we're trying to get them back. And it's not just bus drivers. Substitute teachers are also hard to find right now across the area. We reported last week that Grapevine Colleyville schools are nearly 60 subs short of the 147 they need. And Rio Vista ISD, south of Fort Worth, closed their schools yesterday and today because of a staffing shortage. Grapevine Colleyville approved a pay increase for substitute teachers trying to bridge that gap here in Plano. They are actively trying to hire more bus drivers and will provide all the necessary training if hired. In Plano, I'm Chris Sadegi. Now back to you.